today I'm going to uh, demonstrate some troubleshooting process for ASOS router is a wireless router. This one I'm using is uh, RT dash AC sixty six U. So wrist router. It uh, seems not so stable to me, and sometimes it's completely dead and no connection at all to all users. And um, also the wireless will lost the connection as well. You couldn't connect it again. So one thing we could do is uh, try the power cycle the router itself. The router got the power button at the back. Okay, you can power it off and. Uh, wait for a couple of seconds and then power it on again. So this is the first step you're going to try. And the second step, if it's no luck, then you need to have a, a computer, a laptop or a desktop to connect to one of the physical port on the switch, on the router. Uh, you can pick up any one of them in the line set, not the one. One is for the internet port, uh, LAN. This one is router got uh, four ports on the line set. So you need to connect your computer to one of them. And the uh, second step is you would need to configure your computer, the network. Once you connect it, you can pop up your network and share. Go to your change adapter settings, and in the adapt settings, you need to look at your wired cable, wired cable connection. I got a couple of them, some of them like Bluetooth, Ethernet, Wi Fi. So once you plug the cable in, you need to look at the Ethernet. So in this Ethernet, then you configure the IP. So here it is. The IP version 4. So, I have another video to demonstrate how to change your IP. So, you can check it out. So, but we can quickly go here and you configure manually IP here. Manual IP. So, this time we're going to use this one 192.168.1.17. Okay, and the uh, mask you can type. 3255.0 and default gateway will be 192.168.1.1. Okay, so we can enter a DNS server 8.8.8.8. Okay, just for our troubleshooting. Okay, once you connect it, once you connect it, so you should be able to visit the web console of this router. So anyway, so when you type the address here, you should be able to see uh, ASOS tag the mini web server and uh, it gives you some options, reboot, uh, restore, whatever. And in my situation, I tried to reboot, restore, and uh, power cycle a couple times still no luck so what you need to do is you download the firmware from asus website so this is the address for this router this router yeah so basically you can search on their website and it will guide you to these routers driver download and once you have these look at the latest firmware so you can go here and uh, do the download once you download it and then you can choose the downloaded file for example you download this one uh, it probably will be a zipped file you need to unzip it and then you can load this one after you load this one and uh, you click upload because I did the process already, so I just want to show you what's the command. After you successfully uploaded the firmware, it was 
yeah read like this upload complete system is going to reboot so please wait a few seconds okay so if after it's rebooted then you type this address again 192 192.168.1.1 and this time if you are lucky you will see the uh, setup wizard so that means your router is completely come back so you can finish the wizard type in the password wireless signal name and the password then after that you will be able to finish it and then you can you can also skip the setup and the manually enter it once you skip it it will guide you to the main interface so then you can configure it by yourself so actually in my situation i did this step upload a couple times and it's failed in the middle uh, for the first try so anyway uh, give it a try hopefully it can save your wireless router Thanks for watching. Have a good day.